day one lion. I just woke up and uh, this is when I typically do the ritual of making my, my decaf. But I put my decaf machine away and the coffee is in the attic. So I guess the ritual today would be making some salt water. Here we go. Honestly, getting rid of some of my eating rituals is gonna just add time to my life and that's pretty good. This is definitely my favorite uh, salt rice. I'll pull out my artesian well water. And I've got my salty. I'm just using the clean slate. No flavors, no binder, no, it's just clear. It's very, very powdery and uh, very easy to mix it in. I'm just, this is such a small cup. I'm just gonna use a tiny bit. Let's see here. Let's see, do you see how, how like small that powder is? It's not granular at all because they didn't bind it to meldoxtrin. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong, which is like a product. It's, if I understand correctly, it's like a form of sugar made out of corn and they use it to bind so that things don't stick together. It's pretty common in everything, but this doesn't have that in it. Bottoms up. Very good. One of the things I'm definitely going to struggle with is having to make breakfast for the rest of the family because it smells good, it looks good, it's actually a carnivore food, there's nothing wrong with it, but I am excited to cut this because every time I eat eggs, they do bog me down and I just have to remember that as I cook for other people. To be honest, I have a huge sense of relief this morning uh, that I'm not going to eat cheese, that I'm not going to, like it's just, it's a relief have some water, I'm gonna have some eye of round, it's gonna be very filling, and then that's gonna be it, and we'll move on with our day. I'm very excited about this. Okay, one thing I know I need to get rid of at some point in the near future is my microwave. I depend on it. <laughs> I make a lot of leftovers, and then I put them in here, and an alternative would be, I did switch to glass, I could probably start putting things in my air fryer instead, which is a little oven, uh, but this is one of the downsides of the microwave, is I just came in here and my eye of round exploded all over. Ah, it's okay, it'll still taste good. Okay, so I just microwaved my lunch, and then what I did is, I'm actually going to do a little bit of tracking. Um, I think dad is good. I'm not, I don't know if there's a calorie or a macro I'm shooting for. I'm just tracking. It makes me feel good knowing I didn't over or under eat. So I weighed my bowl, zeroed it out, and then I put some meat in here. There were six ounces of meat. Then I added some of the juice from the bottom here. And then I put one teaspoon of beef tallow that I rendered, which I can show you guys again how I did that. It's so simple and so cheap. And I'm just gonna use my Redmond's Real Salt. And honestly, I, I probably add too much salt. But this is my lunch. Now, if I want more, I have six more ounces. So I can just eat until I'm full. Okay, confession time. I had let sugar-free gum and sugar-free jello back into my life. And honestly, they are controlling my life. Like even right now I'm sitting here craving it, right? I, I chewed so much gum on this last vacation that my jaw hurts. And this is so stupid. And so this is why the lion diet is freeing because I am free from that gum. I mean, I'm having a craving for it right now, but I, I'm not, once we get through these cravings, I'm gonna be free from these cravings. So I'm excited to get through this. Well, I just cooked the kids lunch and it's making me really hungry. I mean, I know I just ate eye around, but I mean, my stomach is grumbling. So maybe I didn't eat enough eye around. 
here's what I figure. The first few days as I'm getting rid of these sweet cravings, cheese cravings, all the cravings, I'm probably going to be a little bit more hungry. So as long as I'm eating the ruminant meat, water, and salt though, it's a win. And I know that this is going to calm down. I've never done the lion diet before, but I've done carnivore, clean carnivore before. And so what am I going to have right now? I'm going to have a carnivore bar. And I, I bought these. I bought a whole pack of them for my trip. And I'm so glad I still have some left. And all it is is grass-fed tallow and um, dried beef. And I'm going to add some salt on top. So it's within my lion diet. I don't have to cook anything. It's delicious and satiating. Um, you can, if you want to get some, I have a code right here. Um, this is a veteran owned company. I got to meet them while I was at KetoCon last year and I absolutely, I ate so many samples. It was so good. It's such a healing food that, and I had a lot of healing to do when I went to KetoCon last year and I just craved this. So if you want to give it a try, have something that's shelf stable, on the go, support a veteran owned company, here's the link. Well, it's 2.17. I ate my eye of round at 11.30 or noon. And then I ate the carnivore bar at one. I swear I feel hungry again. You know what I think it is? I think it's water. I think I need to drink more water. So I need to get the 80 ounces in a day. So I got my electrolyte water right here. If I drink two of these a day, this is what I got myself for the last challenge. Look, it's getting a little denty, but check out my nice sticker. I can't get rid of it. I think I need more water. That's what it is. I gotta drink. Well, like I said, I was still feeling hungry. So I put my air fryer on broil. I cooked two 100% Angus Sam's Choice Walmart burgers. Then what I did, you can see that juice. I, when you put it into the calculation, they count that fat. So I just poured it right back on top and then I'm gonna add some salt. Um, I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna lick the plate, but it is flavor, so I added it back because no more mustard, no more cheese. Okay, so we're out getting our outdoor walk. We're without the boys today. Um, they're taking a nap with David and Tyler. And um, I gotta tell you with this lion diet, it's got this real clean feeling about it. I don't know how to explain what I'm saying, but there's a real clean feeling and that feels good for sure. So I'm gonna keep going. I'm excited to reduce this inflammation and just feel good about what I'm eating. I think it's clean physically and it kind of feels clean mentally. I've seen so many people attempt the lion diet and just, it's a struggle. It's a really, it's a tough one. It's especially a socially tough one. But why I feel like I can do this partially is because Dr. Lisa Wiedemann put together a group on her Carp Sober of people who are doing it. So we're doing it together. And not only do I have support and other people doing it with me, but uh, she also created like an entire lesson with a bunch of content on how, the hows, the whys, the whens, everything. Um, there's even a section on how to cook the lamb that I bought that I had no I, that I have no idea how to cook. So um, you, if you want to join, you know, some people started March 15th, some people are starting April 1st. It's not too late to join in with us. Um, I'll leave the information here. Conclusions for day one of the lion diet. I feel great. I feel free. I feel full. I didn't snack. It was easy to track. Uh, I didn't graze. I drank my water. It felt amazing. I feel like every time I come back from a cruise, it's like my tank is really full and I feel like I almost need to fast to like empty the tank a little bit. I don't know if you, do you know what I mean? just one day of ruminant meat. And I feel like my tank is pretty clean and clear and it just felt like a really good day. So I'm excited to keep going with this. I'm also excited because we're doing this as a group and that's so nice. It's also nice here, you guys cheering me on. And then there's people that follow me here that also have said that they're starting it too. So we can do this and we can feel our best. Let's see what I say on day seven, but 
so far. So far, so good. I think the biggest thing is the feeling of control. I am a total control freak. And I feel like today I was completely in control of my eating. And that is so freeing. That feels so good. That is food sober. I did a first food sober day since before Christmas probably. And that's amazing. I'm so excited to see the results of how this goes and the cravings to go down. I did have a little bit of craving today. And I did eat three meals like bam, bam, bam right in a row. But overall my macros were great. Also on day one, I hit my eating window. That's pretty crazy. I was not expecting that. I was expecting that to take a few days to fall into, but day one. So I'm excited to see what day two brings. Keep you posted.